Um, in this short tutorial, I'd like to um, share some quick stuff that um, I did like while walking to school with my nephews and um, well, we made a little shot and put some uh, zombies in the scene. Um, so the shot looked like this. Uh, so uh, the main thing was like um, not not to overcomplicate things, but do it uh, in a very fast manner. So um, only uh, copy soap and time mapping uh, were used to uh, create this uh, small crowd. Nothing special. But uh, I thought maybe um, it would be interesting just to know how how it was done. So if I um, open Houdini and create geometry, so I have uh, a <coughs> file and animation so there is a so here I have uh, like 120 frames of walking zombie animation and I also have zombie itself which I actually downloaded from XAML and it's absolutely free. Um, now I'd like to uh, cycle this animation because it's like um, too short. So uh, I go to motion clip. And I'll leave the cycle and then. Motion click ready. So here I'll do like 10 10. And here I have a cycling animation. Now I use the form. Because uh, the animation model that's actually imported from the um, it skins and holds pretty uh, okay. Um, So what do I do next? Then I'll create a line. Direction, let's say Z, zero. Ten, 10 meters. Scatter some points. Maybe like 15. And point cheer, point cheer. So I have some spreading. Okay. And I'll 
I'll do a large, large white. Here's a transform. And we are moving. Well, so I'll use expression dollar t. If I copy this so um points move moving too fast, so I'll just multiply them. So slide now back ones one two. Okay, um looks okay now. Uh I want to add some um, time shifting and the point movement and time shift. I create a metronome. This Can multiply it right here like that. Some points are penetrating, so I may just like this and also. Also, I can add a random scale to the points. Now they are random height. Now I want to add the random movement, so I'll use the forage again. Points. Time shift. What's um, Now we see a uh, random movement, which uh, makes the crowd more natural. So I can multiply this. Two five. Two 
So this way you can um, easily add um, um, some more animations to your crowd and uh, it allows you um, to quickly create um, some simple crowds without having knowledge of a crowd system in uh, Houdini or maybe in other, any other software. I think it's very convenient if you are in a hurry and um, you have to complete the task. So and this is the final result of uh, what we can achieve like in no time and I think it's quite useful for simple crowds or for some background crowds and you could also use like um, uh, any other um, type of um, geometry like cars, maybe insects or birds. Um, I think it's a very convenient way to um, do stuff quickly. You can also um, create a uh, digital asset from that and um, you will definitely benefit from that. I hope you liked the lesson and it was clear and valuable information for you um, and uh, hope to see you in the next lessons.